Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous two videos, we saw how quickly energy that leaves from the surface of the Earth can be absorbed by carbon dioxide. The energy we're talking about is the wavelengths, the infrared radiation between about 16 micrometers and about 14 micrometers, which are of course centered about the 15 micrometer wavelength, which means it's the bending mode, vibrational mode of carbon dioxide that is absorbing these particular wavelengths of the radiation leaving the surface of the Earth. We saw how quickly that happens by the time we reach one meter, two meters into the atmosphere, much of that radiation is already absorbed. By the time we reach 10 meters, you can see that we already have saturation points, meaning that no more energy can be absorbed. All of it is already absorbed. And by the time we reach an altitude of 300 meters, which is about 1,000 feet, then virtually all the radiation between 14 and 16 micrometers has been absorbed by carbon dioxide. So what does it mean when we increase the concentration of carbon dioxide? Since we already have 100% absorption, it cannot do any more as far as absorbing this available energy, but the increased carbon dioxide will cause the regions where initially absorption was relatively small for those regions to increase, which has an effectiveness in widening that band a little bit. So we can see that there's going to be additional energy absorbed you, when we have additional concentration of carbon dioxide. It doesn't appear to be much, and it doesn't appear to be much of a driver in the change of the temperature, but nevertheless, there is a change. We just have to try to figure out how much of a change that is, and we're going to try to do that in the next several videos. But you can see that what this means is that the absorption spectrum is a region of the portion of the radiation band that gets, that gets radiated from the Earth, that carbon dioxide is very effective in absorbing, and whether or not all of it is absorbed at 10 meters or 11 meters or 12 meters or 50 meters, essentially that's not going to make much of a difference. It just means that there's other mechanisms that are probably much more important as far as the increases in carbon dioxide and that's probably predictable in how fast energy can make it off to space, which is probably where carbon dioxide is more effective than in just absorbing the energy that leaves the surface of the Earth. It's already doing a really good job there, and increases in the concentration should not make a big change in that mechanism. And that's how it works.